it is time for the Ericaism of the day. Today, I want to talk about crazy folks. Yes, difficult folks. We all have them in our lives. People who say crazy things, who are not considerate, people who are flippant and selfish, people who know how to push your buttons, people who challenge your faith on a regular basis. Here's the bad news. Nowhere in the Bible does it tell you to get them back. Nowhere in the Bible does it say, I'll show you. You know what the word tells us? It says, don't repay evil for evil. Because sometimes it's not uh, intentionally evil. It's just they need to grow in certain areas. And they don't understand that they're selfish or maybe even self-centered. Maybe they haven't had a chance to really look at themselves. And what you should do when people are real difficult is really try to extend the love of Jesus. Because you will be blessed for it. You know, I know some of you are like, oh, it feels like they're running over me. And it feels like they're taking advantage. And all that good stuff, them, all the good excuses that we use that would like to justify us when we have to deal with difficult people or crazy people. You know, but for the grace of God, it could be you. Maybe there is somebody that feels that way about you and you don't know it. Sometimes you're the crazy one and you don't know it, you know, and you're calling everybody else crazy. Always take a moment for self-evaluation, you know. What would I do if it was me? How can I extend the grace of God? Lord, how can I be like you in this situation? What do I need to do? I can't do that. I'm not Jesus. Yeah, but we're supposed to try our best to be like him, right? So instead of beating people up and being mean and, you know, isolating them and, and never talking to them again, that's not cool. I'm not saying I got to be around you all the time, but still try to show the love of Jesus. Try to extend that grace that you would want extended to you. All right. That is my Ericaism for today. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>